Welcome to the University of Georgia. Today we're going to be showing you our Veterinary Education Center as well as our Veterinary Teaching Hospital. Together, this campus makes up our Veterinary Medical Center, which is separate from our classic campus, the College of Veterinary Medicine. This is where our third year students finish out their classes as well as go into clinical rotations with our fourth year students. Due to patient confidentiality, you won't see any animals in this video, but we really hope you enjoy our tour. Welcome to the VEC. Behind me are the glass rooms. These glass rooms can be used for anything from rounds rooms held by clinicians with their rotation um, students at the moment, or for study areas, also for conference rooms. Study areas usually happen after hours. Over here, we have the station. The station is a snack area slash beverage spot that you can come 24 seven, pay, check out with your food, and be able to go continue with your day. It's open to the students, the faculty, and visitors whenever they come by. Next, you're going to see Alumni Hall. But before we go in there, this is the wall of donors that gave money for the classroom to be built. And as you can see, there's a kiosk that rotates showing each donor's name and the year that they were here with us. Now we're going to go into the classroom. Alumni Hall seats 160 students, and this is the third year classroom. We are a split campus, so years one and two are spent on classic campus, and then years three and four are spent here at the VTH. The VEC area, which we are going through now, has Alumni Hall, and then several other classrooms we're going to show you. So next we're going to show you the GVMA room. As you look around, you'll see from the circular tables that are in front of smart boards, this room is designed to facilitate team-based learning. This room was given to us by the Georgia Veterinary and Medical Association, and they're very proud to do so. Welcome to the Small Animal Client Lobby. These doors see a majority of our small animal patients seeing our specialty services. Our small animal patients include cats, dogs, wildlife, and exotic animals. This hospital several years ago was renamed in honor of Cora Nunnally Miller, a prominent donor to the UGA College of Veterinary Medicine. Small Animal Hospital is a specialty hospital, so we have both emergency and referral cases. This is one of our referral areas, and you'll see there's a waiting room here, and in here we have one of our exam rooms. Uh, this is the orthopedic exam room. And then if you follow me back here, you'll see that we have the treatment area. In here is our treatment area, and if you follow me back here, this is where we have the rounds room, and that is where clinicians and students can discuss interesting cases, and it's also a place for students to take a nice break uh, get some lunch and also get caught up on their work. This is one of our specialty areas. This is rehabilitation and physical therapy. We have a water treadmill for our large guys to lose some pounds. If they're ever a little bit nervous about walking in the water, we can just smear some peanut butter and that usually encourages them. This is our hospital pharmacy. It's staffed by licensed pharmacists, full-time pharmacy technicians who specialize in veterinary pharmacy, and a few student workers, which include mostly pre-veterinary and pre-pharmacy students. This is a state-of-the-art facility, which makes us different from most veterinary clinics. And it's also a licensed hospital pharmacy, which means we have to adhere to the legal requirements that are the same as human hospitals. This is our small animal emergency waiting room where we are able to see clients and their patients 24 seven. This allows us to serve the Athens community by being available all the time, as well as giving local veterinarians a chance to have a little bit of a break and not have to be on call all the time. Then down the hall, we also have our exotics and our derm waiting area for patients that are wildlife and exotics and also being here for dermatology visits can wait before they are seen. Welcome to ZooMed, come on in. Here we treat a variety of exotic and wildlife patients, including but not limited to turtles, snakes, birds, fish, squirrels, really anything that's not a cat or a dog. 
We do have different rooms here available for our different species in order to keep all of our interesting critters nice and comfortable. A unique opportunity here available to our residents that have already graduated vet school is to be able to work with the Georgia Aquarium as well as the Atlanta Zoo. A couple of cool cases that we've had here include removing a tumor from a koi fish as well as putting a pacemaker in a ferret. Purina has donated these kitchens to universities and teaching hospitals throughout the nation to help care for our in-hospital patients as well as educating our students here. While Purina isn't the only food that's served here, we have a bunch of different diet options to help care for our in-hospital patients. Behind me are treatment centers for emergencies as well as our intensive care unit and our intermediate care unit. Our intensive care unit is for critical care patients staying here in the hospital. Our intermediate care unit we introduced when we moved to this hospital and it was actually our first service we had to expand because there's so much demand for it. This is our small animal anesthesia where we prep animals either for surgery or diagnostic imaging and it's right adjacent to where surgery and our operating rooms are to make it really easy for patients. This is part of our diagnostic area which has state-of-the-art equipment like MRI and CT and what's unique is that it's located centrally in the hospital so it can be used for both large and small animal patients. Located off our large animal breezeway you can find Bob the skeleton. He's used to help teach students and he dresses up for all of our holidays. And then behind Bob is our linear accelerator. And this room is actually really special because when we built it, people thought we were installing a safe since the walls are six feet wide to help provide protection against radiation for our patients as well as the people who work here. This linear accelerator is used by our oncology service to deliver high amounts and accurate levels of radiation therapy to our cancer patients. Hey everyone, welcome to the large animal side of the hospital. Here we have seven different barns that include outpatient, healthy, ICU, colic, food animal, isolation, and theory on field services. This is our large animal outpatient barn, which are equipped with stalls that have both outside and inside access. And each barn is also equipped with their own pharmacy, nursing station, and exam rooms that are fully stocked and have their own stocks for a large animal restraint. Welcome to the colic barn. We have to separate horses that are colicking because unfortunately they have an increased risk of shedding salmonella. Here in the food animal barn we have this massive chute system for easily transporting all of the patients, mainly cattle, and we also have a turntable for surgical procedures. Hey y'all, this is our field service fleet here that helps us serve the local community with food animal consults and ambulatory services. Hey there, we are standing in the UGA Lameness Center. This building was donated by the UGA Athletic Association as a thank you for taking care of the equestrian team horses. This facility has both a soft surface and a hard surface to evaluate horses on and plenty of room to watch them go on the lunge line as well. And this silly boy is Liam. He is a University of Georgia blood donor horse. Thank you so much for joining us on this tour. We really hope you enjoyed it. And on behalf of all of us here at the University of Georgia College of Veterinary Medicine, go dogs.